must be littered with our dead. Do you know the tale of Tadayori, my lord? I know his name, but I've not heard of his exploits. It's long believed the Ama Tadayori war granted him great power, that it would be disastrous should it fall into the wrong hands. Then I can't let that happen. I'd like to hear more of this story, and this armor. The musician Yamato may be able to help. He told me the legend in Azamo, near the river that separates it from Sutsu. What they did to Lord Adachi, it's monstrous. My lord, please join me. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed, he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. And I believe it is still out there. Find the Violet Crown. Chrysanthemums. The musician who told me the legend of Tadayuri mentioned them. They could lead to the Violet Crown. Mm. 
Quickly, Sora! Incense. Burned recently. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayuri's rest. Violet chrysanthemums. Tadayuri's rest could be close. If this are too sheer to climb, there must be another way in. Mongols, how did they find this place? A map, like the one from the Violet Crown. Tadayuri's rest. Whose graves are these? Time's rushing river slows. Tadayuri's mind at rest. One drawn bow pierces many. The emblem of clan Nagao. Tadayuri's clan. Same incense from the Violet Crown. Lit recently. What are you doing here? Leave this place! I'm not here to fight. I am Jin Sakai, nephew of Lord Shimura. You're a liar and a thief! Defend yourself! I don't want to kill you! Stop! Trespass on Tadayori's sacred ground! You dishonor Tadayori's legacy, thief! <laughs> <laughs> you should be fighting Mongols! 
Not each other. You're nothing but a dirty scavenger. It's not possible. You know how to use that stolen blade. My lord, my name is Kaede, last of Tadayori's line. I heard the samurai were all killed, assumed you were a scavenger. I'm no thief, but I seek your ancestor's armor. And you deserve to wear it, Lord Sakai. But the armor is lost. And you have no way to find it. There is a line from an old scroll. Tadayori watches over Azamo Bay for eternity. I suspect it's a clue to where he hid the armor. Tadayori's armor gave him great speed and deadly aim. Wear it in defense of the innocent as he once defended Azamo Bay. Watching over Azamo Bay could mean the cliffs behind town. soon. My lord! How did you find us? A descendant of Tadayori pointed me here. What happened to you? A Mongol spy found a long-forgotten scroll written by Tadayori's firstborn. They forced me to decipher it, and it led us here. So they found the armor. No. I misdirected them, hoping you'd reach us in time. You took a big risk. And it paid off. The armor is hidden beneath this memorial. Claim it for yourself, my lord. A memorial to Tadayuri.
Mary's armor. The artistry is incredible. Musician, I won't let the Mongols near you. Are you all right? Yes, my lord. Tadayori himself. The armor is perfect for an archer. My tale found the right audience. And now it's time for me to move on, my lord. 